Hi guys, it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here with TGIF. Um, I have a lot of things to show you, but first I wanted to say I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and um, if you're getting ready for whatever holidays you celebrate, good luck. I know I am in overload. I'm trying to finish up all my special orders so that um, I can focus, I fly away, I can focus on all the projects that I put off um, for Christmas presents. So, I guess we'll get started. I have, I don't know where to start. The first thing I'm going to show you, I guess, is I made, last year, at the end of the season, I bought a bunch of um, Red Heart, hold on, I'll tell you what this called. Red Heart Holiday, which is just red and green and white with um, like a piece of tinsel running through it. Um, and I bought it with the intention of making us a tree skirt. And I did do this. This is it folded in half so that you'll be able to see it. And this is a free pattern on Ravelry, but I think it's Crochetville. Um, you can't really see the whole thing. That's where the tree goes. But I love it. Um, I think it came out really nice. Now I have something in my eye. Um, Dewey was pretty upset when I was done that it wasn't for him. So I don't know if when we put our tree up if he's just going to be trying to burrow himself in it. It was a pretty easy and straightforward pattern. And... Took, it took a little bit of time, but it was it was uh, fun. And then I decided that I was going to make another tree skirt because I had I didn't need nearly as much yarn as what I bought. Another tree skirt for Kristen's aunt who used to live with us. Um, this is a free pattern from either Red Heart or Bernat. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, this is a hexagonal I guess. It's not really an octagon because there's more than eight sides I think although I haven't really counted. And this is what hers looks like and I'm almost done and I'm only showing to it to you while it's still a work in progress because when I finish it I'm going to give it right to her because I don't want to give somebody a tree skirt on Christmas when they can't really enjoy it. So yeah. I like it. I thought this one was a lot smaller than the other one, but it's not, so yay! And it's still attached to the ball. And at the end of the year last year, I got this Red Heart uh, Holiday for like a dollar a skein, so I used six skeins with mine, and I used, I'm using six skeins with Kristen's aunt's, so $12 for two tree skirts. Pretty good. I guess we'll keep going with crochet. I made... I made two things I had to ship out. One was a coffee cozy that was red and white striped like a candy cane. Um, that went out. And the other thing I made was two Bernice Mountain Dogs hats. And those went off to the Netherlands. Here I have another Bernice Mountain Dog hat. This one's going out in the mail tomorrow. Probably Wednesday. I usually ship on Wednesdays and Fridays. So there's that. This is my own pattern. Little floppy ears. Um... And then, I got some orders for some turtle hats. And usually I make the eyes out of felt, but I didn't have any white and black felt. I only had these like obnoxious neon colors, so I crocheted them and I kind of like them better. So there's three of those. There's two blue and one red for three separate orders. Uh, da -da -da. Pink owl, my regular, whoa, my regular owl hat. Pink and purple. Um, I have two Ziggy beanies, modified Ziggy beanies with Jack's Jack on them. Because I sold the last two in the first hour of the show last time. Those go on. Um, I made two of these hats. Uh, my sister asked for a purple baby hat for somebody that she, she knows who had a baby and she's going to be picking it up this weekend. So I made this one. This is a pay for pattern. I'll put the link in the description below. I've had it for a while, but I've never made it. And then I made another one this morning out of gray 
in pink, which I really like. Which I wish it was for me. And then I was asked for a baby hat with a crown on it, and I couldn't find any patterns for it. But, you know, I figured I could, I could figure it out. I'm just fixing all the points here. So here it is, a newborn baby crown hat. I guess if you hold it back here, you can see how tiny, teeny tiny it is. I think it's pretty darn cute. I sent the person a picture, and they really liked it. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a little drinky poo. The next thing I have is a birthday gift for my mother-in-law. And I have bags and bags of ice scrapers. Not bags and bags. I have like 15 ice scrapers because I was going to make this for a bunch of people, but... You know, it's kind of like when you go out to eat and your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Yeah. My purchasing was bigger than my actual amount of time to crochet and, and knit. This is knit. This is a free pattern. It's called Ember. It's from the Baroque site. And it's a scraper mitt. And it's made with two strands of wool held together. I used wool of the Andes because I had it in my stash. And Kristen picked out the colors. It's a... It's a dark gray and a gray blue, so it makes the gray look more blue. And you can see inside here is the scraper. Because my mother-in-law has been scraping her car with a, um, a gift card that she's used up. So That's all I have for knitter crocheted items. I do have a few weeks ago, I'm going to take mine off my feet too, I showed you my slippers that I knit for for Kristen but they had to be felted and then I knit, knit a pair for myself and those also needed to be felted so these have been worn so I don't know here they are felted up they don't look like much held up but they are so cool they're so comfy Kristen's are out of lion wool and these are mine and mine is out of the gray is lion wool and the teal Teal-ish is um, Ella, Ella Ray's wool. I don't know exactly what the kind of wool was. And I wanted to tell you that when I make slippers so that you don't slip, I like to put something on the bottom. I used to put puff paint, but puff paint doesn't hold up that much, and it's you can't really get an equal cover. Um, so this is what I used on um, our slippers this time. It worked really well. It says that two thin coats works better than one thick coat, but the wool kind of sucks up the um, backing as you paint it on. So I did one coat. Uh, I wouldn't say it was thick, but I wouldn't say it was thin either. Um, trying to get it even. This looks dirty now because it's been on the floor, but it gives us a nice rubberized bottom, and you don't slip. The one thing I'll say about this is... You need to do this outside, and you still need to be wearing a mask because this stuff stinks. Stinks. And it's it, it does say on here to wear protective eyewear. Oh, eyewear? <laughs> um, yeah, and not to inhale it, to do it outside. Um, and I got this on Amazon last year, and I can't imagine, I can't imagine, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it couldn't have been too much, and I mean, you use a minuscule amount to do these, and then they dry for 20, it says to dry it for 12 hours, I dried it for 24 hours, because I just wanted to be sure, so that's that, then, the next thing I did was, this is like crafting at its best, um, I have to make Rudy and Molly stockings, and the letters I got last year, I can't get this year, so I just painted and, and glittered some letters to go on their stockings. So those will be shown later when they're finished. Um, and then I saw on Pinterest these cute little button ornaments, and I can't find one of them. I had a tree one, and it's gone, but you know what? I have a picture, so after I show you this one, I'll show you the picture. Um, and this is a little, oops, snowman, button snowman ornament. And I found it on Pinterest. I didn't find any true directions, but it was pretty self-explanatory. This is for um, the same person the tree skirt's for because this is her first Christmas in her apartment. So, a little ornament, and I'll put a picture in here with the one with the tree.
So I thought those were pretty cute. They, um, not really cost effective unless you have a lot of buttons hanging around. But the next thing I made, I made for myself for the owner of my LYS and my dance teacher, because my dance teacher is a knitter, for Christmas. <coughs> and they are um, emergency yarn um, ornaments. And if you can see in there, you see that? There's knitting needles. And I might try and take it out of this one. I made four of them. I made one for myself. I made three to give away. No, not three to give away. Two to give away, one for myself, and one that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. So I'll hold them up. These two are plastic. And these two are glass. Um, the skeins of yarn are just some mini skeins I skeined up of leftover sock yarn. And the knitting needles... There's two in each one. Is a toothpick, and then I gorilla glued some beads to the top so that they are knitting needles. And there's two in each one. And now I don't remember. Okay, this one. Which one it came out of? Um, and this was not my idea. This was an idea I saw on Ravelry. This one I think you can see it the best. Maybe if I turn it this way. So you see the two knitting needles in there, and there's three little mini skeins of yarn. And on Ravelry, they had a tag that said, in case of emergency, break glass, but these are plastic, so I thought they were pretty cute. At least I've seen a couple people online making cloth dolls, and I had never done it before. So I said, what the heck, I'm going to give it a shot, and I went online and I found some patterns. Pardon me, I'm really thirsty today. And I've become obsessed with them. So the first two dolls I made, this is a pay pattern, um, I'll put a link to it in the description below. I can't remember what they're called, but they're so cute. Look at them, they're so cute. This is the same pattern. <coughs> um, the dolls have dresses and little bloomers, and they take a while to make, but they're a lot of fun, and these are just you know, sanity-seeking things for me to do. Because if I just make the same hat over and over again 500 times, I, I just, I don't know. I want to start, uh, it's just boring and ins insane. So these are them, and I think they're so cute. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so then I decided I was going to make another one, and I made this little elephant which I think he's really cute. And this is all fabric I just had in my stash. She has a, a yarn tail, too. And then he has, well, she, I guess, because there are bows in her ears. Little sprigs of hair at the top. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love elephants, so. And my final one is called Save the Hooters. And it's called Save the Hooters because it has a little owl, hoot hoot owl. And because she's a breast cancer awareness doll, see I use breast cancer awareness ribbons, and then my white fabric had a, like a loop-de-loop -loop. that was kind of like the ribbons. I like how she came out. Not pleased with her face. I didn't do a good job with that. And she has little bloomers also. In the patterns for these, they do um, paint shoes on them, but I just can't be bothered to do that. I mean, they're just for me. Eventually, I told Kristen I want to get a little shelf and um, just put them up because I, I think they're cute. They remind me of Raggedy, Raggedy Ann and Andy. Um, so, yeah. I had never made these before, and I, I do have to say they're quite addictive. I will say another thing. This one I had to cut out all the pieces and turn these little bitty arms right side out and then stuff them. That was a bit of a chore because these are really thin. I mean, they're thinner than my finger. Um, but I would make them again because they're super duper cute. And this was by the same person. Uh, smaller pieces. This one was really challenging for me, but I enjoyed it very much. This one was by a different person. And um, you actually trace in um, a fabric pencil the pieces right onto the fabric and um, so, and then cut it out, which I found easier for me, especially because I hate cutting stuff out because I'm, I'm not a good cutter. 
I'm just not. So, and she is supposed to have. I'm spending way too much time on this. She's supposed to have the little owl in her hands, but um, I liked it separate because then I can pose her however I pose the owl wherever I want it. Um, yeah, so that's all. I have another doll started, and I'm thinking of actually embroidering her face, but I don't know if I'm that talented or brave. So that's all I have for this week. Um, I do have coming out maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, I'm not sure. Depends on how much time I get. My, like, faux tutorial on how my felting process. Um, so that maybe it will help somebody um, who is trying to get started. Because it's not always easy to find, like, really clear directions on how to do things. I know when I first started felting, they're like, throw it in the dryer. I mean, throw it in the washer and pull it out and see what happens. And don't let it rinse. Well, that wasn't very helpful to me. So, yeah, I'll be putting that up. So that's all I have for this week. Um, later today I will get all the links in the description below. And I hope everyone's doing well. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.